Yeah. You're doing all the preparations. I am. Yeah. Full tour. Well, you're up to it. So we'll see it next week. We'll see. Next week? Yeah. I think next no, week we'll London. see Sinan. London tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. It's all of them. Tomorrow's going to be hectic, but well, it's fine. Hey there, this is Luis and we're here with Saba from Denmark. Hey. hey. How are you doing? I'm good. This is like the weekly catch up with you. It is, we just talked about that. <laughs> so, second for party, Barcelona, how are you getting ready? We just heard you rehearse and it sounds amazing actually. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> but we are, yeah, we're just checking the sound and you know, doing what we supposed to do. So yeah, I'm I'm doing good. I'm I'm right now I'm go I'm a little bit you know, I'm going into my folk like the focus and uh, I'm just get, I'm I'm I don't I don't feel nervous. I just enjoy the, the the ride, and this is just I love Barcelona, and I've been here before, and people are nice. So yeah, it's just good to be back with the the other artists, and yeah. It's like you're creating a kind of a family with all of them, isn't it? In fact, exactly, and also I feel like I am a part of a family now because you know I just uh, I won, and now you know you are my family, people here, and you know we see each other regularly now, and yeah, it's just yeah something. Of my life so do you feel there's a sense of competition around you I don't feel that actually I, I really don't I, th I feel like we we all represent our country and that's the we, we are really like that's the for me I, I don't know about uh, you know the other uh, um, artists but for me I'm just so honored to to, uh, to represent my country so that was like actually that's actually my like that was my goal and you know, then of course I want to go. I will. I want to qualify, but I don't feel like we are competing with each other. More like we are competing with ourselves, in a way. So I don't know how the other like because we, we, we do our things and uh, we do our thing and we just enjoy. It, I think to yeah spend time together and get to know each other. Yeah. And is there anything brewing between any of you musically? What I mean, like, is there anything brewing, like any kind of music collaboration or something between someone of them? I don't know. If there's something, if you're like trying to maybe collaborate with some of the other artists, would that be? I've, I haven't talked with anyone yet, but um, I would. I could definitely see some collabs if I, you know, looked around. But. Um, We'll see. I just, you know, I just really enjoy a lot of like Musti. I love that uh, vocal. I love uh, uh, the vocals. I love um, the song. And but also me and Oli, we have also like. I know he likes my song. He would love to sing that uh, himself. I think someone told me uh, that uh, in Madrid. Um, but I'll, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe just like there's still many weeks in the run to come until until Malmo, so yeah, and there's a lot of meetings uh, on the way. I mean, so preparing for tonight's show, um, are you thinking of like because you're going to sing your song so many times in the next few weeks? Are you thinking of adding some kind of um, tweak, something to add something new to the song, or is it going to stay that way so that you keep like prepared for it? I think I will maybe more. I feel like it's it's going like I like how the song is now and how I sing it. So for me, it's more about uh, you know the things around the song, like maybe more movement, doing something you know different on stage. I know that like we are preparing something new for uh, for Malmo, uh, some you know more mu mo uh, movements. So. I, I try to, you know, this is also for me a good opportunity to just go on stage and try, you know, to be more loosen, more like loosen up because I also I deal with a lot. I don't know if, if I maybe I haven't talked about it, but I deal with a lot of I have a bipolar disorder and I have like anxiety thing and paranoia things going on. So it's just like for me to to go on stage, it's like a big thing, it, it, you know, itself is like. So I try. I feel like in Madrid it was actually the first time I could enjoy it. Like um, so now I'm just building up from there. So like, I feel like it can could, it can only get better from now. But yeah, I'm just it's it's also I learned so much about myself in this uh, on this journey. It's not only about the song and the music for me. It's also about you know um, building some uh, like uh, strong uh, like building a um, how do you say it? It's, um, yeah, like, like the strength of the confidence. Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. Confident. That was yeah, the word confidence. I was. Yeah. <laughs> building confident uh, and just you know yeah. So it's getting better. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for every performance? Like, um, because uh, we were talking about this, the, the the issues. You've been very vocal about the mental health issues. You've been also an advocate for mental health uh, and for bipolar disorder as well in Denmark. So um, I guess uh, preparing for each performance, like, do you build on your past performances, or is it like something completely new every time? 
I try to take something from you know if I can you I, I try to not like stick uh, stay in 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 the bad thoughts about like the last performance but I feel like I see progress every time each time I do it it's like I go on stage I try to take something with me like good things like what three good things from this performance what do I want to do to add next uh, and sometimes for me it's actually what's going on behind like what do I have to do before going on stage that will make my performance um, feel like uh, better or uh, what will make me feel better and like so the performance actually uh, for me um, starts before going on stage because I need to you know yeah yeah prepare so yeah so um, your song there's like a running meme on social media with your song because it's like everybody at some random point of the day just completely goes like sad sad do you also have that's something that also happened to you like you you're around the house or whatever and you're like sad I don't do that actually, but I heard I heard it, and I was like, I d I'm not an, on Twitter or something, so I, and I try to stay a little bit uh, off media, social media. But it's just yeah, if if it's if people find it funny, then it's nice for me. It's good for me. <laughs> it's like there's a regular uh, you're scrolling through Twitter, and then there's some other performing <laughs> belting out. <laughs> the good thing is that people can you know actually sing with me when like sing along on stage. It's like sand. It's nice. And tonight is going to be a crowd, a totally. Like I didn't notice in your performance, but I'm noticing now you have a lot of tattoos in your arms. Yeah. Oh, so there. How many do you have? I don't know. <laughs> you lost count of it. Yeah, yeah, but more because like, how would you like? Is this oh. one tattoo or is it like a sleeve? Like this is a sleeve, right? But that you would like this was the first I got. This is never forget your roots. It's about uh, my Ethiopian roots. So you and built it from, from there? From I built it from here, yeah. And this one I built from this. This is the first I got. It's the Harry Potter, I like it's the, the dead, Deadly Hall yes. Hallow sign, right? And then I got this and da da da. And I have like a lot of them. Yeah, I I, I didn't notice. Oh, oh it's, it's like a dolphin and, and Hello Kitty. <laughs> I don't. That was so random. I don't know, it's like one of those like random things that are unique, actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. When did you I've get been, it? I've when. Uh, like a lot of crazy stuff, you know. I've been like, I'm bipolar, so it's not like not to like make fun of it, but still, I like I've done some things, some things in life, and this was one of them. But like the way of coping. I embrace it. <laughs> so Sava, finally, do you have a message for your viewers, for your regular viewers at Weebly Vlogs? Because basically, we're seeing you like every week, and it's no. yeah. part of your family as well. I'll see. Say for this week, maybe I have something else to say next week. But stay curious about life. Yeah, that's a good thing. I do that. I try something. Like I try to stay curious. What makes you stay curious? What 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 are you curious about now? Like right now? Yeah, I, I like I'm, I do a lot of things. I'm also a photographer and stuff. So for me to um, find myself in in singing and performing, that was I was very curious about. You know, to um, like how would it feel for me to go on stage because you know we don't have to do those pre-parties uh, I know that it's like a tradition to do it but we don't have to do them all but I was like I, I want to do it because I want to see I want to try to to challenge myself and I want to be curious what will happen in those situations and I, I need to, to to see because I need no, normally a lot of people and stuff will give give like I will get anxiety from all the you know people and so and it's 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 getting better um, and and this was uh, yeah so this is like that's what I mean I think yeah yeah that, that was my question is it positive the feeling it after the pre-party is well? yeah I feel every time I yeah yeah it's better now and I, I'll also say because every time I'm scared of doing something then and, and I do it then I feel wow that was that was actually maybe it's not like good but but it will get better and I would like okay I need to give it a chance I need to stay curious about how like yeah if you can say that yeah so Sava thank you very much for your time and we'll see you around Europe thank you I just I, I did this because I was like when I talk speak English after like if I speak Danish and then English and I like switch language I feel like my English is you know but it does happen here because you constantly switch switching languages actually yeah. it's like the basic of the bubble as well just yeah. like going from one language to another it's like ah yeah exactly that's that's the, that's the thing but I'm getting better at English actually that's also a thing second language struggles yeah I get you, I get you totally. <laughs> thank you so much Sam. thank you to see you, see you. thank you